Meg is not happy about this. I'm just going to be a sweaty, plastic I've done, mess. I've done absolutely nothing physical for over a week. We laid in bed all day yesterday. All day. Stuff. All day. One, two, three. Listen. <laughs> What's up, bikers? We're here today with Adam Brayton, pro downhiller, Meg White, super pro downhiller, and Pat, not so pro anymore downhiller. <laughs> and we're doing a challenge for one hour on the assault bike, but we're going to mix it up and do it as a sensory deprivation challenge. So it's earphones on, blacked out goggles. And the challenge is to go for one whole hour and then Whoever does complete an hour, we're gonna measure up the calories and see who got the most work done in that time. So there's an incentive not to coast and to stay, I know, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> stay in a grind to get all those calories done. And we'll measure up and see how they get on. Goggles on, earmuffs on. I'll tell you absolutely nothing. I look like a tit and I'm just like falling. Can we start? Wait for it, wait for it. Three, two, one, go! Still going nice and steady. There's no signs of letting up on the pace. Seems like Meg's going a little bit slower. And obviously, Adam has his injury, so he's only using his legs. And Pat's absolutely going for it. at the halfway mark now and by my own experience this is where they'll start feeling like they don't know how long they've been going they'll start second guessing how long is left and it may well be playing on their mind that they've been pushing too hard they have no idea how long is left so let them, let them churn it out and we'll check in again there's 10 minutes to go see if all three are still in with 10 minutes to go your name because anger grips me closer on these cold nights This is a quick 10 minute before the end check-in and they're all still going consistently. I have no doubt now that they'll all stick it out for the hour. So we'll check back and we'll see how they get on at the end of these 60 minutes. Time! Right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Goggles off. Fuck me up, babe. Let's have a look at these calories. Seven, nine, how many? 792. 443. 574. So what went through your mind as you were going? I was counting my breaths. Right. So I was going, one, two, three. So then I like kept a, my breathing. Like a meditation, kind of. And I kind of like zoned out. And then I was counting on my fingers. So then that was one minute, <laughs> and then I'd start again, that was two minutes. I was literally just like, one, two, three. I think it's the best way. To a hundred, and then start again. one <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bet. To be fair, these bikes are quite a lot to do with how heavy you are and how much you can push into it. Yeah. Like a rowing machine, leverage, and all that. Yeah, so, factor. yeah, I'd yeah, be surprised uh, if you got closer to these guys to be fair it's not that necessarily you know your heart rate was 189 
you've got good power for your weight mm -hmm. and that's what counts is not necessarily the total number of calories that you did compared to Pat who eats pies all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's the assault bike challenge over. I know Ad looks a little bit depleted because he knows that he could have done better with two <laughs> arms. <laughs> She doesn't like losing regardless. Uh, Meg, what we've established is she weighs nothing at all. And so her mental toughness is there, but calorie output necessarily not, isn't as, as much as Pat, who weighs more and will have a bigger power output, especially with the arms. So check in next time for the next challenge. Who knows what it might be? Ice bath in the dark? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing. This is Pat Campbell-Jenner, Meg White, Adam Brayton. See you next time. Peace.